Today we're going to take a look at the difference between PEX A and PEX B plumbing water lines. We have two different types of T's here. One is a PEX B T and one is a PEX A T. The black one is PEX A, the white one is PEX B. The first thing you'll notice is the difference in size. You can see the PEX B almost fits inside the PEX A, which is going to reduce flow. You should know that right away. When using PEX B, what I like to do is oversize my water lines and that will ensure that I won't have any issues with pressure. So now let's take a look at how these two systems connect to the fitting from the pipe. So the PEX B, PEX B uses a crimp style which just slides over the pipe first. Make sure you put this on first. And then once you've got it back, actually what I should do is make a clean cut first. You always want to make sure you have a clean straight cut. I like to use these red pipe cutters. I'll call them putt cutters. I'm sure they have an actual name. And just make sure you make a nice straight cut. The next thing you want to do is grab your fitting. And you'll notice on this type of fitting, it actually has stoppers on it, which is nice. Because what that tells you is where your crimp fitting should be going to. So your crimp fitting is not going to go any further than that. Now I should mention there are a couple styles for PEX B. Um, this one is a crimp style and you can see the crimper here and it fits into that slot on the fitting. And what you're going to want to do is line it up, which can be tricky sometimes depending on where you're working because they do slide off like you just saw. And once you're lined up you're going to want to squeeze the handle and that's just going to crimp the actual ring. That's why they're called crimp rings. And once the connection is made, I've found over the years that these are actually very reliable joints. Um, as long as you're not stressing out the joint um, by bending it or anything like that, you should have no problem with leaks, in my experience anyways. Next we'll take a look at the PEX A. And this is by Upinor, or Wurzbo depending on what you want to call it. Um, this is a PEX A pipe and this is a PEX A ring. It's an expandable ring and what it has at the end is a stopper that will stop the pipe from going all the way through the collar. I don't know if the camera picks that up or not but I'm not able to actually push that ring all the way through the pipe. So next we'll use Milwaukee's expanding tool. Now they do make hand expanders too similar to the crimp style where you actually use the tool to force the ring open but this is an electric one that are battery powered and you can see here it spins as it's opening it and what I like to do is just leave it for a second because this pipe does have a memory and it'll give you a couple more seconds to get that fitting in there because you don't get a lot of time and you can see the fitting just pops right in and within a couple seconds, I won't be able to pull that fitting back out. Again, this is a very reliable joint, um, widely used. And now the reason a lot of people don't use PEX A is simply the price. The price between PEX A and PEX B is very different. PEX A being much more expensive than PEX B. Now the also advantage of PEX A and PEX B is PEX A can fit on PEX B and you can use the crimp style on PEX A piping. Now if you have PEX B piping you can't use the expander. Now the price difference between PEX A pipe and PEX B pipe again are significant but you can see here this is PEX B pipe and I don't get a lot of room to really bend it. Now if I grab my PEX A pipe you can see I'm actually able to bend the pipe all the way around and have it touch itself without it kinking as opposed to the PEX A or PEX B. Thanks for watching.